Okay, so it's uh, it's about one o'clock in the morning, and I cannot sleep. Uh, I don't know. God's doing something cool inside of me, and I just wanted to share it a little bit. Uh, I feel like I don't know what I feel. <laughs> I don't know how to express my emotion right now, which is which is kind of weird for me. Um, I'm a worship leader, and I travel with a band and. I've realized, I guess, over the past few months that I have nothing to offer, that I have nothing to give, that I have an average voice and play with a good band, and but me, as a person, I have nothing to offer because I'm broken, and I'm full of sin, and I guess it kind of humbles me to think that I would lead other people in worship, and I feel like God's calling me to something so much bigger than I am so much bigger than myself, and I have no idea what that looks like. I have no idea what that's going to be, but I do know that it'll only happen if God wants it to happen because I can't make it happen. I can't make anything happen. I can't do anything on my own without God. I'm sunk, and I think that's where my worship starts, is to realize that without God coming through for me, without without being completely submitted to, to the will of my Heavenly Father, nothing's possible. Nothing. Um, but the realization that, that I have Christ in me, the hope of glory, the hope of glory, does something to me that I can't explain. To realize that, that I've been redeemed and I've been set free and my chains of sin and my chains of death are gone, it makes me want to jump out of my skin. Like it, I can't explain it, and I love that. I love God, and I'm eternally indebted to what He's done for me. And if He never does anything else, I'm fine. I can finally, I finally at the point where I can say that that God's grace is enough. God's grace is enough. God's grace is enough for me. Because without that grace, I, I have nothing. I have nothing to offer. But my story of redemption has something to offer. I don't know why that's new news for me. I don't know why I've never realized that. I don't know why it's taken 22 years for me to realize that without God, I'm nothing. I don't know. God's moving. I wanted y'all to be a part of it.